So Virtus Health is, is the largest um, provider of fertility services in Australia. Um, we assist couples who are having difficulty achieving their dream of conceiving, um, achieve that dream of having a baby. Um, we've got 84 fertility specialists working in the organisation, 860 staff, and we do around 15,000 IVF cycles a year. The, the business is very broad in that it provides a lot more services than just for t uh, IVF services. So we, we do surrogacy, we do donor, we support um, single women and same-sex couples have their children as well. I've been in the business 10 years. I have a background in nursing and um, uh, I, I started with the business when it was quite small, when we had um, just 12 doctors, around 60 staff, and we were doing over around 2,000 cycles a year, and as I said previously, we've grown that quite significantly over the last um, 10 years. What motivates me? I think, you know, helping couples achieve their dream of having children. Now, I don't do that specifically myself, but I support the staff that do that, and making sure that the doctors, the nurses, the scientists have the infrastructure they need to treat patients. And Virtus is... Um, is unique in that it's able to provide a broad range of sciences and, and diagnostic services to patients because of our size and scale and the fact we treat so many patients we can provide a broader range of um, services and, and diagnostic techniques than perhaps um, uh, others might be able to. And you know look, fertility's been um, growing over the years. One in six couples will have an issue with their fertility. Um, one child in every classroom is born as an IVF child and um, the factors contributing to that are increasing maternal age. Uh, women are leaving having children much later in life. They focus on careers and financial security. Um, the, uh, we, the Virtus is able to treat a wider range of patients now than perhaps it was 10 years ago because we've been able to invest in um, increasing number of um, sciences and, and um, uh, diag diagnostic techniques, as I mentioned previously. So, so I think you know mo what motivates me is just that you know wonderful um, joy of being able to help families, uh, couples create the family they desire. Yeah, look, I guess what's been coming up over the um, last few weeks is, as a result of the half yearly presentation is the variability in cycle volume. And this is something we in the business are used to. We see variability by state. Um, so for example, uh, 12 months ago, um, Queensland Fertility Group were um, in double-digit growth and this year they're in negative. And that's really driven by local economic conditions and we do see um, local economic conditions impacting volume in state, cycle volume in the states. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, New South Wales is a housing boom, we've seen 8% growth in this half. So, you know, it's... Um, so is fertility an economic indicator? Well, I think we, we, we think perhaps it is. My CFO will certainly say that and support that. That's right. Um, what was the reception you received from, from offshore investors? That's uh, very good. I mean, uh, in the prospectus we talked about opportunities to um, take our model offshore um, and the management are working hard on achieving that goal. Uh, so overseas investors are very keen to understand how we're progressing in terms of that. And, and what is a, a, a rough timeline or what would you like to see happen on that front? Look, we'd like to see something happen within the next 12 months. Yeah. And is there a particular first step market for you? We have, over the years, we, or the last couple of years particularly as Virtus Profile has grown, we've seen a lot of inbound inquiries from places like China and India um, and, the, and the Asia Pacific. We have decided to focus on Asia-Pacific, uh, places like Singapore, Hong Kong and the UK. And the reason for that is that the legal framework is similar to that which exists in Australia. Medicine is practiced in a very similar way um, to Australia and many of the doctors um, transfer their skills across those uh, countries and train in Australia. Um, so so those, are the, those are the three countries in which we're focused on at the moment. Mm. Look, I, I can't, um, I know there's been some media about it and I, I haven't spoken directly to primary so I can't really comment on what their goals are, um, except to say the, the area that they're, they're talking about is the low cost model, which is the uh, model we launched two years ago here in Australia. So we've had two years of um, experience in that area. I, I do have to say that um, we wouldn't be able to run our low-cost model without the um, significant infrastructure that exists in our full-service clinics. And those low-cost clinics are certainly supported in quite a big way from the main mainstream. And it was interesting when we undertook research before we launched the low-cost model, um, it was very important for patients to know that 
the low cost model was supported by a reputable IVF group. Mm -hmm. So pe people who had had experience in the IVF sector. And, and as I said previously, I, I, um, Virtus Health has a very rich history and a lot of experience in the treatment of infertility patients. And, and we certainly can't treat everyone through the low cost model. We have to um, support them in their journey and, and sometimes they, they do um, move into our full service um, uh, care model. Mm. Okay. We uh, operate in the Eastern Seaboard at the moment and 80% of the cycles done in Australia are done on the Eastern Seaboard. Um, and we have around 46% of the share of the market on the Eastern Seaboard. We've, we've got very high market share in Queensland, so I, I don't think we can ex ex expect to extend that too much more. Um, there's opportunities certainly in New South Wales and Victoria to gain market share. Um, we don't exist in the other states of you know, Western Australia, South Australia, uh, Tasmania or Northern Territories, and we'd like to look for opportunities and, have, and are looking for opportunities to extend into those states. Um, you're presenting to a room of investors this evening. What would you like them to walk away with from your presentation? I think just to understand the uniqueness of the sector in which we operate, um, the, the um, opportunities that exist for um, growth within this sector, not just in the full-service IVF here in Australia, but also uh, our low-cost model, um, particularly our advanced sciences and diagnostics. Um, we, we have a vertically integrated business, so we don't just focus on IVF, we have advanced sciences, diagnostics and day surgeries. So there's opportunities for growth in both the advanced diagnostics and the day surgeries. And also that um, you know we are, are focused on expansion into those markets overseas that we don't exist in, and particularly where the um, IVF sector is highly fragmented. And you know, for a place like the UK, uh, while they ran head to head with us in terms of the science and technologies, they haven't corporatised and consolidated to the level that Australia has. So the, the largest group in the UK does around 9% of the cycles in the UK. So we have um, a significant opportunity to take the model that we have here in Australia into those markets. And, and, and they are looking to us for um, you know, guidance and, and, uh, and perhaps and opportunities in that way. Thank you very much, you Thank you.